Let's see what you're going to teach him to be. Go ahead. Fear for his life will raise him to... Fear for his life will raise him to do what? Him to be mentally dependent and weak. You'll raise him to be mentally dependent on others, namely you, and weak. That's why most boys, when they grow up, they don't leave their mama house no more. They stay in their mama house, but the 18-year-old girl will go out here and go and be successful. But the black man don't know what he gonna do with his life because he's frozen, because our mothers are frozen in fur. Had sex before? All right. So if you don't marry that sister, then you make her before. And you become a whole mm. Oh, I don't like that. That is something to me. But that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. That's what God calls it. Right. Like when that. a man sleeps with a that's woman, true. that's what happens in our community. That's why you got baby mamas all in this community right here. Right. What well, are at? That's right. Then we wonder why our kids grow up in games and kill each other. Because we ain't there. No man is there to guide them, so therefore the one that does the discipline is not around. So the woman, she's emotional. She's going to make them feel good. Whatever they do. So they're going to go rob people and call each other niggas and kill each other. And the woman going to say when they get put to death, you know what? That was a good person. May he rest in peace. Really? You know. Let's see if they're going to be resting in peace. We don't. Which not have abused my ways. So they abused God's ways. They did not keep the commandments. Go ahead. And they that have cast them away despitefully. So they threw God's way, his, his laws away despitefully. Go ahead. Shall dwell in torment. They're going to dwell in what? Torment. Torment. When they Bring die, they out. torment. That pitiful case, that's torment. Go ahead. Verse 10. For such as in their life because have, in their life while they was living, right now, go ahead, have received benefits and have not known me. So they was getting money. Drug no. dealers get money. Strippers get plenty money. But they were receiving benefits, but they didn't know God. Go ahead. And they have loathed my law. And they hate it. The word loathe means they hate God's law. Same way y'all in college and things in school. How old are y'all? 22. 22. 23. 23. All right. 22, 23. So pretty much y'all are working and stuff like that, trying to build your careers now, right? So y'all are receiving benefits now. If you don't do what God said, what did he say going to be a judgment? Thank you. It's not hard to understand. Y'all understand that. But in Sunday worship, guess what they say? All the laws are done away with. Bring it out. Has this happened yet? Have all our people, have everybody died? Has destruction come yet? So that would mean this part of the Bible is a prophecy. That's right. It has not happened yet. Yes, it is a prophecy. <laughs> they laugh because of the slur, man. Don't worry about it. Hey, them brothers, hey, them brother crazy. So this right here has not happened yet. Hadn't happened yet. So it means it's going to happen. So when people say don't read the Old Testament, really? All of it ain't happened. That's right. So why would they say do away with something that that is going to kill you if you don't know it? Mm. Because when you go to church on Sunday and they put the tithes bowl out there, they ask you for money. Guess what you're going to do because you feel good? Give them money. Now they ride around in the uh, Maseratis and everything in the big houses while we live right here in the hood. We don't got no pot for no money. Right, that's right. We read more pa passages or scriptures to you than you've ever heard in your life in a few minutes. Right. Okay. And gave you more understanding of them in a few minutes. Y'all never got this in 22, 23 years. How old are you, bro? 24. Y'all ain't know this was in the Bible. This is, we're reading this out the Bible. Go ahead, read down some more. Watch this. Verse 11. And they that have loathed my law, while they have yet liberty. Because mm -hmm, y'all got liberty to repent right now. Y'all got freedom to repent. No one's making us do Sunday worship now. White people used to. We were supposed to do Sunday right here. No. Now we do Sunday as a tradition. What about Christmas? Thanksgiving? Easter? All of those are evil. Every single one. When was Christ born? Why y'all celebrate a birthday that y'all don't even know is for real or not? For one, you ain't supposed to do birthdays in the Bible anyway. That's right. Because you make 
yourself above God that day. It's the first commandment, don't put no other God above me. So, oh, today is my day. Everybody give me my gifts. Take me out to eat. Worship me. Bring it out. You just broke the first commandment. That's right. So why would people celebrate Christ's birthday and he never said to today do that? <laughs> well, no, it is the birthday was Thursday, but we celebrating his birthday. Well, listen, so what should you do now? Now, people say they do it for the kids, right? Oh, it's for the kids. Well, them kids going to grow up to be monsters because we did it for them. No. Versus if we do it for God, it will be for them. Now they'll grow up, they'll keep Passover. They'll keep tabernacles. These are week-long holidays. Right. Y'all do holidays as one day out the year. We got days that seven, eight days long. Right. right. Where we out away from everybody. And y'all, and y'all, you can let your son run around or your daughter run around Teach. because we there. We don't nobody want nothing from you. All we want is your kids to be safe. That's right. And want them to grow up doing what God said. That's it. So you know what? Your phone can lay down. Ain't nobody gonna steal it. You know, hey, whose phone is this? Right. Right, right. now you gotta worry about somebody stealing, even in Sunday church, because they don't keep the laws. They don't keep the laws because they don't understand what we're reading. That pastor's lying for money. We ain't asking y'all for a dime. All we want y'all to do is to repent. Fix That's right. It. Because if you don't, your son is going to die. He might die before he's 20. Now, I'm going to read it out of the Bible that that's what's going to happen. Is it your son? No. Son. Okay. But you're willing to take on that son. Yes, sir. So if you're willing to do that, that is your son. Yes, sir. Watch this. Read. Read down. Why they have yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance. So y'all got an opportunity to repent, so you don't have to do birthdays. Go ahead. Was open unto them. So it's open unto you to actually stop today to start living doing the easy things today. Go ahead. Understood not, but despised it. But they be like, I'm good, I'm gonna do it anyway. You don't despise God's law, you hate God's law. Is that it? No, sir. Go ahead. The same must know it. That same person that despised God's law, they will know what? Go ahead. After death, they're gonna know it after death by what? By pain. So yes, it ain't right. just it when you die. You're gonna be hurting when you die. Mm. You're gonna die again, but you're gonna burn yeah. forever this time, and it's gonna hurt forever. That's right. Is that it on that verse? Yes, sir. Isaiah 66. Watch this. I'm gonna prove it. It ain't just written in one place in the Bible. It's written in multiple places. That's why it says that the same must know it by pain after death. What? So the gang bangs that say they live the life when they get killed and they die. Now all of a sudden everybody like, may he rest in peace. You know, really? They was terrorizing our people. Rest in peace? You think that's what Bring God did for them? Read that verse. I uh, 66 and 20. No, no, no. No, I want 23. Is it 23? Yep, read 23. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 23. Bring Bring it it and it shall come to pass. I mean... And in the future, it shall come to pass. It ain't happened yet. Watch and see what, if this has happened yet. Go ahead. That from one new moon to another. You don't even know what the new moon is. Y'all don't know what the new moon is, do you? Every beginning of the month, every full moon is a new moon. That's right. the beginning of the month. But on the calendar, white people say the new moon is when it's black. But in the Bible, it's when it's a full moon. You know why they say when it's black? So you get the feast days wrong. So you don't celebrate it the way God said. Because... They can keep you like this now. Bring it out. Your son is going to be this. No, no not, not just working. What if he plays sports? You play sports? Entertaining. <laughs> you played in high school though, right? You play school ball and stuff like that? Yeah. Slaves. Hmm. Slaves. I played college ball. College baseball. Slaves. All the same. That's why, they, that's why when you go out there for tryouts and stuff like that, they want to see how tall you are, how high you can jump, how fast you can run. Ain't that what they did with the slave by putting them on an auction block? Yeah. Same thing. Because I just took him to the doctors and his doctor was like, well, he's going to be tall. Yeah. Um, is he gonna, he needs to play basketball. Sports. Play basketball. He's, he's going to be good, good for sports. Really? Why wouldn't he be, why he wouldn't be good for raising up his people? Bring it up. Why didn't they say that? Oh, he's going to be tall. He's going to stand up and he's going to stick out to where he can talk to his people. Why didn't he say that? Instead, no, no, no. Put him in our fashion to make him white like me. That's what they want to do. Go ahead. And from one Sabbath to another. For one Sabbath. Today's the Sabbath. 
So new moon to new moon, which are high holy days in the Bible. Sabbath to Sabbath, high holy day in the Bible. Go ahead. Shall all flesh come to worship before me? Everyone that gets in the kingdom of heaven shall worship before God. Read 23. So we need to hear the new heavens and new earth. Let them know this is heaven that it's talking about. That's, that's 23. 24? Yeah, 23. Oh, that was, or is that new heaven, new earth? 22? 22. Yep. Verse 22. For as the new heaven and the new earth, which I will make, shall remain before me, saith the Lord. Are we on the new heaven, new earth yet? Yes. No, Christ ain't came back yet. So that means we're talking about heaven. We're going to be on earth. <laughs> there we go. Heaven ain't nobody going to be floating in no clouds. <laughs> That's what they teach on Sunday. Everybody going to go up and float, and we're going to just sit there. No. How are we going to have streets of gold? What are we going to walk on? We're going to make the same people that did this to us build our nation. That's right. right. That's heaven in the Bible. What? The same ones that, that the same ones that forced us to do all of this, put us in those slave prison okay. right there, they're going to build our kingdom. Okay. That's, That's right. right. Okay. And we're going to make them. Yes, sir. But if you're evil, let's see what the judgment is if you don't repent. Read on. Read down. Keep reading. Verse 23, uh -huh. verse 22 again. Uh -huh. For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, shall remain before me, uh -huh. say, and your name so remain. So shall your children, your seed, and your name remain. It will be forever. Heaven ain't going nowhere for us once it happens. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. that from one new moon to another, Three. and from one Sabbath to another, uh -huh. shall all flesh come to worship before me. So everybody going to be forced to do what God said. Right. Even the other nations, we're going to make them. And if they don't, we're going to kill them. Right. Look it out. Same way they force Christianity on us. Now we go to church on Sunday because that's what we were forced to do. Go ahead. Say it to the Lord. Uh -huh. Verse 24. Watch this. Watch this. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses. They're going to look upon the dead bodies. Read on. Of the men that have transgressed, transgressed against me. means to break. So the ones that broke God's laws, those that were going new moon to new moon, uh, 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 Sabbath to Sabbath celebrating, we're going to look and see those that did not do what God said. Let's we'll see know. what's going to happen. Go ahead. For their worm shall not die. Your soul will not be burned up. It's not going to die. You're going to burn forever. You will always be in a lake of fire. We, imagine, picture it, where you in fire burning. And people walk by you and they celebrate like come up. You know, what's the dances they got sturdy, <laughs> yeah. whatever, all these all these dances. Imagine they out. doing that on their way celebrating, no pain, no sickness, all these kids, and you sitting down there in anguish, hollering. And every new moon and feast day they see you as they go. Imagine that. That's scary to me. This is the scariest chapter in the book to me. What's that? Isaiah 66. And it ain't happened yet. This ain't happened yet. Meaning it's going to happen. That's Just like right. he read to you, our history of slave ships. It said, it shall come to pass, right? And now what they said it was going to happen over 2,000 years ago is me and your history. So if that said it's going to come to pass, why don't we think that's going to happen if that says it's going to come to pass? If what he said about slavery really did happen. And it did. So the whole Bible is going to happen. That's right. So now what we gonna do? Stay what we gonna do? do right huh? Stay ready and do the right thing. We gotta do the right thing and stay ready. Stay ready for what? God. Be ready for God. How? Start doing the right thing. You know? <laughs> as long as you're doing the right thing. Okay, <laughs> I understand where you're going. I get where you're going. I'm looking for another word, but I get where you're going. I'm, I'm gonna meet you where you at. So. Whenever the Bible says that Christ is coming like a thief in the night, right? Do anybody know when he's coming back? No. no. So then, like he said, we have to stay ready all the time. So give me uh, Psalm chapter 106, verse 3. I believe it is. Let me see it. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. Let me look at it. Psalm verse 3. Yep, read that. Psalms chapter 106, mm -hmm. verse 3. Read. Blessed are they that keep the... My bad. You blessed know? are they that keep judgment. So blessed are they that keep judgment. Judgment is to keep the commandments. Blessed are they that keep the commandments. What if people don't keep the commandments? Are they blessed by God? Can devil? Can the devil bless anybody? Sure can. Yeah. Remember, he offered Christ the, all the kingdom. Mm -hmm. He said, I have the power to give it to whoever I want to because God 
gave them that power. So all these rappers in them, all they doing, they're doing all these different things because Satan is giving it to them. Get out. Not God. God ain't giving it to them. Satan is letting them believe it's God. That's why they get up there and they win their uh, 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 best rapper award. And they get up there and they just call all our women bees and then whores and men niggas and I'm going to shoot him, kill him. I want to thank God. Really? You just destroy the whole community with your music. People listen to your music and go and execute what you don't. There's real people that live that, but you're rapping about it to incite those actions. And now you're going, I thank God for making me a millionaire for giving me this award. For real? God going to kill him. They believe that because they believe in a different God. So when they say they thank God, they uh -huh. think they God. Yeah, they God is Satan. Yeah, I know. They, they got the devil, but they don't know it's Satan, though. Yeah, but they, think they think God. that it's the God that we're reading about. When this no. God just said, no, they no, no, they do. Well, they, not, they don't get paid for thinking. No, no, no. They, they don't get paid for thinking. <laughs> you right. They don't get paid for thinking. They get paid to follow white man tradition. You know. You really believe they think they're worshiping the same God. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They don't know that that's Satan working. Some of them don't. Some of them uh, do. Like like uh, Jay Z and them, Jay Z and them know they worship Satan. But you don't think their ignorance is bliss? No. No, no. I, I see what you're saying. I could agree their ignorance is bliss, but that would mean they believe they're following the Bible when they're not. Because in us, ignorance. Because some of us ain't blessed like you. Some of us are still conditioned to love under that. Like, mm, I don't you said some know. of us ain't blessed like me. I'm just well, I'm just saying to have the information. Right. That's now, what I mean. Do you don't you don't think this information's been given? Listen, that's not what I'm saying. I mean, I've been raised conditioned all my life. I didn't know half. Of, I don't. I didn't even know none of this until last year. I wasn't woke until last so, year. So you woke? What's your so, race? Watch so, this. What's like, your race? My point was my race. Mm -hmm. You my woke? Person, what's your I'm race? A human. Huh? I was on the human race thing. But we you all said in this together. you said you woke. Listen, what I'm saying is, it's hard to. It's hard to follow when you already been conditioned one way for a long time. I understand that. And when somebody gives you the truth, you fight it. I fight it all the time. Like, you know, it's unbelievable. Right. To me. Why? I, because I've been, I've been taught and conditioned to believe one thing all my life. You're right. That's all I'm saying. You've been it's kind of hard to What's your name, the truth. April, after a while, it's hard to swallow. What's your name? Is April your name April? April. You've been conditioned to be a good slave. Right. Well, you know. So when people that come here that ain't good slaves, now it's like, well, wait a minute. Y'all are not good slaves. I'm the house Negro. Y'all the field Negroes. That's who we are. That's right. We yeah. coming to get the ones in the house to get with us. Right. But do you have the approach of the, the field Negro? Yes, I do. That's why, that's, we right here where you, you at. Because every, listen, what I'm saying is being conditioned, all us can accept the information aggressively. Hey, I am buzzy. All us can not accept the information aggressively. Now, now no. watch this. Now you said everybody can accept it aggressively. Have I said anything aggressive? No, 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 that's not what All I'm right. saying. I met a few of you guys. Yeah. Some of you come on. We can be. passionate. We, yeah. Why? Why right. do we get like that? I, I understand your frustration. Do I you, get it. Now, I get why. Now what, do you think that's in the Bible that we should be like this? I think... I think you have room to be like that. Um, Where's the one to pull them out the fire? Uh, you, Judas, you, Jews. We've uh, been like this so long, you know something that we don't know, and you my brother, so it couldn't be frustrating to be like, look at my, you know? No, that's frustrating, but it's also frustrating because we have mothers that, when we come out here with answers, we'll ask them for the answer, and they cannot give it to them. And then we'll be like, well, what is your son going to be when they grow up? I don't know whatever he want to be. Think about that statement. What other race let their children decide what they're going to be? Huh? Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, what did you say? Though? I was thinking out loud. No, I want that. I, this is a conversation. In my opinion, I don't feel like our kids can be wherever they want to be. Why? Just the way the world works. No, no, no. Right no, no, no. Not what the world said, what we said. No, I see the way it works. No, dude. Okay. What does, how does it work? It don't work for us to win. Okay. Watch this. That's not where I'm going. Where I'm going is... If your son came to you, you have two daughter, daughter, son. All right, you got both. Your son and daughter come to you, mother. You know what I'm saying? They chilling, and people see your child playing, and they like, well, what do you want to be? Or they ask you, what do you want your children to be? What would you say? We need professional. 
Yeah. Like, just, what do you want to grow up to do? I just want to be a productive adult. See the that job statement? Don't... Watch this. Now, that statement, that is our frustration. And I'm going to show you why. Why? I want my son, I got four, four sons. I want my sons to be a productive individual in society. That means anything. Chinese people tell their children when they this big, you're going to be a doctor. And guess what they start doing? They give them books to become doctors. No, no, you're going to be a dentist. They give them books this big to become dentists. Or you get the white people, so-called white people, because ain't nobody the color of these pages. They're red. Nope. They say they're going to be doctors. But the doctor is the same. They son going to grow up to be doctor so-and-so because they daddy and mom is doctor so-and-so. Why don't black people do that? You know. We give our kids options when they don't know no better. It's our job to teach them. Uh, hold where you at? Psalms? No, Proverbs 22, 6. I'll show you. We have to teach them on how they go. According to God's laws and professionally. Christ's no. occupation was a carpenter. His father was a carpenter. See what I'm saying? But we want to tell our children they can be whatever they want. What Proverbs want? chapter 22 and verse 6. Uh -huh. Bring it up. Train up a child in the way he should go. Why don't we follow that law? Train your children on how they should go. They should keep the commandments. And like you said, they should want to be good citizens. How? Or how would they be productive? Especially with me, with my boys, I focus on why I don't want them to go so much. I never thought about why I do want them right. to go. Right. You understand That's what I'm saying? I get what you're saying because you're so afraid. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this. And you only do that to your boys. Mm. You only do that to boys. Women only do that to boys. But they teach women and their daughters to be strong. But they tell their boys, I don't want you to do this. I'm afraid. And then you hold them back. And then when they grow up to be like me, now they mealy mouse. Now they don't even know how to deal with people or they are emotional. Because no. you've done what slavery taught you. We got the book. You got, what is uh, Willie Lynch? You ever heard of Willie Lynch? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Willie yeah, Lynch taught the black you. woman to teach the black man to be weak up here. So you just said that, that I do that, and you, you got both. But you tell your daughter you got to be strong and outgoing, but you tell your son, I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to do that. Because I don't necessarily tell, I necessarily tell my daughter to be more aware. Not uh, to know. All right. So now y'all understand that if you don't keep the commandments, what's the judgment? Death and after death, what? Pain. Pain. Death again. That's what it's called in the Bible. Death all over again. Don't make no sense to go through life like this. So and then like die. No, 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 no. History has repeated itself because we allowed it to. We allowed this. Our slavery didn't happen one time. It happened multiple times in the Bible. We was in and out of captivity because we always broke the commandment. So God said, oh, okay. <laughs> Y'all don't want to do what I said, go into slavery. But this is the last one because this was the only one we did slave ships on. So this time when destruction comes, if you're not on the right side, pain forever. Your son, same thing, because if y'all don't show him how to be, he's going to repeat what you do. That's why history repeats itself. It repeats itself if you're righteous or if you're evil. Yeah. Oh, you got it? Here we go, right here. Watch this. Which where are we at? Yeah, read that. This right here is the Willie Lynch letter. Let's see what it did to our mothers in slavery. Read it. The Willie Lynch letter. Page 20, the one with the female offspring will teach her to be like herself. So whenever whenever our women were in slavery, they took their husbands. What did they do to the men? They raped the men. They destroyed them in front of the woman. So now she feels I can't, I'm independent now. The only people that feel independent is our black women. Our black women say they're independent. No other race says they, need, they don't need no man. Y'all ever hear that? Y'all ever hear white people say they don't need a man? <laughs> what about Chinese women? You ever heard Chinese women say we don't need a man? Right. Why black people say we don't need a man? Come on, man. I guess it's to bring up our families man. at the end no, of the day. No, that's because we were taught that in slavery. Just mm -hmm. watch this, watch this. You're going to teach the girl to be like yourself. Go ahead. Independent! Independent. They made you without the man because they removed him and killed him and raped him in front of you. So now, because of slavery, you still feel that way about us. Go ahead. And negotiable! 
We nego and negotiable. You will sit there and be able to bargain back and forth where white people talk to. Y'all ever know when the police come to a black woman's house, if the black man is there, they don't talk to him, they go to her. No. She's negotiable. They do it today in our neighborhoods right here. When the police come, the black man can be standing right there. They'll walk right past him and talk to his wife. Unless his wife or he say, no, talk to me. Because they still do this right now. Go ahead. We negotiate with her. Through her, by her, we negotiate her at will. They'll negotiate with the black woman at will. Go ahead. The one with the nigger male offspring. Now, the mama that got the nigger boy, they call it nigger male offspring. Go ahead. She being frozen with a subconscious fear. Because you are afraid. You just said it. I'm afraid of what he will become. You're frozen in fear. Let's see what you're going to teach him to be. Go ahead. Fear for his life will raise him but to... Fear for his life will raise him to do what? Him to be mentally dependent and weak. You'll raise him to be mentally dependent on others, namely you, and weak. That's why most boys, when they grow up, they don't leave their mama house no more. They stay in their mama house, but the 18-year-old girl will go out here and go and be successful. But the black man don't know what he gonna do with his life because he's frozen, because our mothers are frozen in fur. So we have made them become dependent on the woman and mentally weak. That was taught to us in slavery. And we don't know that and it's all biblical that it was going to happen in our slavery all because we didn't want to get married when we had sex all because that's we want to worship another god that's the truth all of that so is it the same thing no no it's all together yeah. even if we don't some people don't want to worship some people will go and worship god and hate to do so god will judge you for that if you don't love to do what he said what you got it's not the same thing as being an army being an army Absolutely. Let's see if that's in the Bible. Let's see. Ezekiel. Was that it on that? It's a little more. Let's finish it. I, I don't even know what page you was on. I done closed it. Damn, my bad. Yeah, that's it right there. All right, let's read the rest of it. Then we're going to, I'm going to find you. The, it's 30, Ezekiel 37. Um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Got you got a minute? I you got a second? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go to the same place. Oh, man. I'll listen to the verse, though. All right, come on. Be right. Oh, but wait. physically strong uh -huh. and otherwise body over yes, mind. Yes, hey, y'all got a flyer? No, I was gonna ask you how. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.